Hey folks, we're in the rabbit house. Rabbit house is where we've slept for nine weeks already. When we first got here, we thought, this looks like a house for rabbits. That's because it was. So they had rabbits in here, I guess, and we're attached to where the rabbit pen is. That's the old door, but it's a cob building, and I really have liked the chance to live in a cob building. It's comfortable, um, it doesn't get too hot in here, uh, we had some problems with natural light, but we make some improvements in order to improve that natural light, and it's quite a comfortable space. There's always more work to do and maintenance on a cob house, so probably the next people that stay here may find their own improvements to make. Um, the floor is really nice in certain areas where they use a sort of resin um, to make a really solid uh, natural finish floor, but in some areas uh, it's been torn up a bit and has uh, the dirt exposed. So another finish on this floor is probably in order. The uh, walls are a nice light blue to help with that natural light, but it, they could also be repainted and perhaps replastered. You can see some cracks happening in the walls. Um, some of those are aesthetic and some of those are deeper. And you'd have to read some books about cob building to really know which ones you really have to pay attention to. Uh, the roof is pretty solid. We haven't had too much rain here, um, but certainly you can hear the rain if it, uh, if it rains. Um, a lovely skylight on the other side does let a lot of natural light in. Uh, I would say perhaps a second skylight here could be really cool. Um, we added this mirror and hung this today um, because we felt that it would help bounce some light around and help us look at ourselves and really enjoy how beautiful we are. We put in a coat rack so that we can hang things when we come in to make it a little bit home, more homey. We put in a window, which we bought from town for 500 pesos. It's just a single pane window with a simple operation. We put in a lintel sill at the top to support the structure and a wooden sill at the bottom. Luckily, there are a lot of overhangs here, so nothing really touches the cob or the, the, um, the wood on this building. All of the overhangs allow the rain to just shed off. It also can prevent some hot summer light from, or uh, a hot summer heat from the sun from uh, getting into the building, which is good, uh, but hopefully should let in some more winter sun which is lower, um, and these windows may help with that to help heat the place up a little bit more in the winter. And finally, we have another window that we installed on the other side. Part of the reason for windows was also for ventilation. So now that we have a window at both sides of the building, we can get better ventilation in this building. Again, a simple operation, some simple cobweb around the edges, all cut out with simple tools and some finishing touches on this one with clay tiles. That's it for the rabbit house. Hope you enjoy your stay in the rabbit house when you ultimately come to the Bosque. Thanks for watching.